Hey Capricorn, it's Meg with Padme's. I am doing your June overview for 2021. Your energy for June, what is going on with you? We're gonna do the bulk wise tree spread and depending on what comes up, if there's a lot of romance that comes up this month, we'll do some romance oracle and maybe see what that person wants to say to you. Let's see what you got going on, Capricorn, for the month of June. We are calling in your angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light because I don't want to talk to anyone else. And I'm asking what it is that Capricorn needs to know in their present time for their greatest good and most benevolent outcomes. There we go. Okay, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And I'm plugging in my computer really quick before. Just in time. Almost lost it. There we go. Okay. Yep. Okay. Woo. Uh, when I was shuffling before I started, the moon reverse came up a couple of times. So there's some kind of illumination that's happening this month for you, Capricorn. So let's see here. Oh my, Capricorn. Okay, the Emperor and the Empress have made it to the board successfully. That for me is a very clear sign of twin flame type energy. Just wanted you to know we also have a queen of pentacles here who is reversed in your higher self. This is the married queen, but she is feeling like she can't trust herself or she can't trust the situation. We also have a knight of cups reversed and your angels and guides are talking about some sort of pursuit of love not happening or maybe literally you not pursuing a love path. I'm hearing something about truth and honesty here. There is coming from in your situation, coming from this place of, oh, this is being independent or acting very independent. This can be a partnered person, but this person's very independent even when they're partnered. But when it's reversed, it's like a partnered person acting single or some kind of distraction or, you know, and the distraction can be work but it looks like it might not be work. It looks like it might be some kind of Empress energy. I want to say that too, Capricorn, because here's the strength card in the big picture and the big picture, it's reversed. And so it's like somebody hasn't been particularly strong or somebody hasn't been following, I would say their own rules for themselves with that card. And your advice is to, uh, so interesting. That just flew out when I'm talking about advice. Here's the page of cups. It's like the offer of love, offering your cup of love. This would be an apology as well, but your advice is talking about, I was gonna say, slow your roll. This is communication. It's the eight of wands reversed, but it is like slow your roll, slow your communication. Maybe very possible, slow your offers of love. This is also talking about, you know, offering apologies. That's a possibility. Let's let's get the rest of this. We're going to get some clarification. We're going to ask a yes or no question at the end to Kat. So let's look at this heart of the situation. So the moon card reversed. This is like really some really deep emotions coming up and out. And here's the two of swords crossing it, which is maybe you don't want those to come up and out. It's like not wanting to be exposed is the feeling that I'm getting. And then happening now and into the near future, we've got this emperor. This emperor is reversed. This is another indication of someone married, not acting married. We will get some clarification on that. That is also someone who is the culmination of all of the kings who is not stepping into action, not stepping into the action of leadership. Okay. This in your space of release, it's like this is, this has been released or this is going to be released soon. 
Here's the two of wands reverse. This is like, I have chosen one or the other. I have made a choice. I made a decision. I, um, I'm not juggling by any means, but this is in release. Like I've made a decision. I'm <laughs> and I'm feeling like it's more like I, I'm releasing the idea that I made a decision. I'm going back on a decision perhaps. And then here's the nine of swords. This is in your resistance. And I feel like you're saying, I am not going to regret this. I am not going to feel anxious about this. I'm not going to, I'm not gonna look back and wish that I had done something different. Okay, so let's check out your past, present and future. Your past is a queen of swords reversed. You got a lot of people here, Capricorn. You got a lot of people here. Some of this I feel like is layered, like it's aspects of you for sure. But we've got this queen, we've got this queen, we've got this empress, we've got this knight, we've got this emperor, we've got this king of wands reversed up here. You know, we've got this page down here too. So here is a pissed off queen in the past. This is somebody that feels like she's been lied to and she's holding a grudge for sure. She doesn't just hold grudges though, she cuts people off. So she cuts people off though when she doesn't feel like she can trust them. And here's this queen of pentacles down here feeling like she can't trust a situation or someone. So happening in your present time, here's this King of Wands reversed. The King of Wands reversed can very well be, wow, this is interesting. What I'm hearing is party pleaser. I really feel like this is a sexual thing, but this person is, uh, I'm also hearing going out on a limb. Okay. But I feel like this person is is very, I'm feeling this, this lion right here. This person is on fire and very um, not aggressive forward with their energy and with their emotions. And then this is also a cross with the six of swords. Here's a rite of passage not going forward. This is not moving on. Okay, what's happening here? Yeah, there's some internal conflict. There's some kind of, um, there's some kind of, oh, okay. I was gonna say there's some kind of secret that is brought up and out. It's been kept for a while, but it's brought up and out somehow. Anything down here? Okay, I've got the Wheel of Fortune this way. So there's a challenge with, with timing, but there's some kind of secret that's been kept for a long while that seems to be illuminated somehow. And it could very well be illuminated because somebody finds something, but more so I feel like it's illuminated because somebody feels something. Somebody feels off, they don't know why, and they're trying to figure it out. And here is this Empress in your trajectory. So this emperor happening now into the near future is talking about feeling unsteady somehow. I hear unsupported. Okay, so actually I'm gonna switch decks and let's start to, huh, I heard communicate. Let's start to communicate. Um, let's start to clarify. Let's start to get some, I'm hearing interesting references for each of these scenarios. <laughs> Okay, coming from this place of what the actual truth is. What is the actual truth? What is it that is distracting you? This, yeah, what I'm hearing is it's like cutting something down to the bones, cutting something to the quick, getting to the root of it, the source. So I do, yep, and I'm being called to, there it is clarify again with this deck. I want to know what the distraction is, please. What is the straight up distraction for Capricorn? Oh, 
Okay. Huh. It's some kind of epiphany that you have. It's some kind of straight up epiphany. Like, oh my gosh, this is the truth. Oh my gosh, this is my real feeling. This is, these are my real feelings. Or this is, I'm clear. All right. I want to go ahead and clarify this Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is a married queen. This could be a married queen not acting married as well. Whoop. All right, here we go. And here's the Ten of Swords. I would say this is definitely someone who feels like they've been betrayed. That's why they can't feel like they are. Um, they're trusting the situation. The Ten of Swords is definitely betrayal. And that's why this queen is reversed. So it's not so much that she's stepping out. It's that she feels like the situation is not matching her. Okay. Let's take a look at this Knight of Cups. This is somebody pulling back and pulling away from romancing. This is also somebody who, and this, you know, I feel like somebody's pulling back and pulling away from romancing someone who is a soulmate. I mean, this could be this queen. This could be this married queen pulling back and not romancing this queen, the soulmate. And when I'm asking for advice, we get the 10 of cups reversed. Somebody is saying, I have everything I want now, what's next? I have everything that I could possibly imagine wanting in a life. I am blessed, now what? Now what do I want? Okay, this one wants to come out too. I'm looking at the strength card. Here is the seven of wands. The strength card, you know, reversed again is like that party pleaser that is so funny to me I but anyway the seven of wands and the strength card this was about the big picture not following your own rules and this is about getting back on track and getting aligned and having conviction but this is more so about making promises to yourself and keeping the promises you've made to yourself okie dokie let's get the heart of the situation so this is some kind of Secret possibly coming to the fore. This is not wanting to be exposed. And on one hand, there are certain things that don't want to be exposed. Like there are certain secrets that you don't want exposed. On the other hand, it's more like not necessarily wanting to be vulnerable or wanting your innermost feelings to just be known. It's like there's just this private life or a private universe of emotion that doesn't want to be exposed here. Here's the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Wow. Wow. Okay. So the Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning with a Queen of Cups, who's the dreamboat, who's the, oh, I would say that's definitely soulmate energy, but this is the in love queen. Passionate new beginning with the in love queen. All right, let's take a look at this Emperor reversed. Okay, here is the star reverse. This Emperor is not having a wish met or a wish fulfilled. And there's, there's upset about that. That's what's reversing him. It's like this thing that wants to culminate He's not getting his wish and basically it feels like it's driving him crazy. This queen of swords reversed back here. Somebody who cuts somebody off. Here's the seven of cups reversed. Whoa, somebody's cutting somebody off because they do not want to be an option. Okay, here is the king of wands reversed, the party pleaser not able to completely move forward. I kind of feel like because he he's the emperor reversed up here. Here's the ace of pentacles. Somebody wants to offer a tangible new beginning, a tangible. Wow, I feel like somebody wants some relief. They just don't want to be driven crazy anymore. And here's the judgment card. This is such a new beginning. This is a new beginning with a solid foundation. 
So this could be a new beginning in marriage. This could be a new beginning in a very important committed relationship with the Ace of Pentacles and the Judgment. This is starting again, starting over, starting fresh, starting new. This is also reconciliation of some kind with a solid platform. And let's look at this Empress Capricorn. And here is the Five of Cups. Oh my, this Empress is crossed by great, great sadness, defeat and disappointment, regret. It's very possibly the thing that needs to be released and let go, but let's look at that. This, I've made a decision, but I, I'm releasing that I made a decision or I'm going back on a decision that I made. I don't want to regret this later. All this regret thought, page of swords reversed. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I'm totally hearing the Beastie Boys, but something about ill communication. There's ill communication. This communication isn't happening the way you want it to happen. There's also this negative self-speak around this. It's like questioning yourself, questioning your decisions, questioning how you're thinking about a situation. Let's look at this Nine of Swords. And here's the Page of Cups reversed. So it's like, I don't, I have resistance to not offering a cup of love here. I don't want to regret these situations. All right. So I want to do some more clarifying with this Lenormand here. I want to get some more on this. Page of Cups reverse. I don't want to regret. I have resistance to regretting this. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be some kind of big shakeup. And here is that Queen of Cups again, too. There's going to be some kind of big shakeup with either you, Capricorn, or this Queen of Cups energy, whoever that is. I want to look at, yeah. Here's this longevity card as well. This is also um, the King of Swords up here. And so I'm feeling like this has something to do with, you're thinking long-term, Cap. You're thinking long-term, long-term focus. Let's look at this Ace of Cups and this Ace of Wands, this passionate new beginning with this Queen of Cups. Yeah. This is some romance for sure. This is uh -huh, romancing some feminine energy or feminine energy feeling romanced. Wow. Let's look at this star reversed, this reversed emperor not getting their wish. Oh, and they're gonna try to turn that around. This is, this is romancing someone in order to get their wish met, but it's really, um, it's so, it's honest and true. It's, I want to even say true love. It's coming from true feeling. It's coming from the part that doesn't want to be exposed. Oh, wow. I want to say it's the real deal, Holyfield. Mm -hmm. All right. Not following your own rules for yourself and having to stand in conviction. Oh, wow. And that has to do with love. There's Cupid shooting that arrow. All right, let's look at this advice again. What's next? Looking for what is next when you have everything. I almost want to say, what do you get the person that has everything? Eight of Wands. This is like slow your roll. Slow things down. That is about offering that cup of love. Yeah. Here's the 10 of cups again up here, but here's also a friendship. It's like this slow your roll. There's something about building a relationship here. This, you know, this party pleaser up here wants to actually offer something of substance. And that's the advice as well. The advice is talking about building something, building something solid. Let's take a look at this queen of pentacles reversed here who feels like they have been betrayed in the past. 
Yeah, and that's what we were talking about earlier. This person doesn't necessarily have anything to go on with that. They're psychically feeling it. They're psychically feeling a rift in the force. I want to know if this Queen of Pentacles is the same person as this person in the past, this Queen of Swords who's cutting somebody off because they don't want to be an option, or if it is a different person. It is a different person, Capricorn. This is like a new person, a different person. So you've got different people here feeling left behind, it looks like. And okay, let's look at this new this new offer, this new commitment, not being able to move forward, but this new platform and reconciliation. Valid platform. Hmm. Well, right now, there's some kind of it feels like there's a thought of this. It's like a wish or a dream or the thought of this because here's this aloofness happening and there's a lot of sexual energy here. It's almost like it goes back and forth. I'm acting like that's not what I'm thinking about, but that's actually what I'm thinking about. Okay, let's look at this. Let's look at this Empress. I feel like this has a lot to do with regret. Am I leaving this Empress behind? I want this Empress energy around me. Yeah. Here's the King of Wands again. And this is like, this is cloudiness, clouds, confusion around this. Okay. Let's take a look at the pursuing or the non-pursuing of this soulmate. And yeah, the soulmate looks like the other woman, the other lady. That's what the snake represents. This is also the queen of wands, who also is representative of possibly the other woman, the mistress. Yeah, not pursuing the soulmate or twin flame. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull some romance oracle Capricorn. This is some interesting energy for June for you. And Capricorn, yeah, validating some romantic feelings here. A retreat, getaway, some kind of getaway, wanting to get away. more want to come out let your friends help you and very soon I'm just going to clarify those actually I want to clarify let your friends help you and very soon let your friends help you and this has to do, this key has to do with gaining more knowledge. I even feel like this is you asking for advice from others. Literally asking for advice and very soon you get, you get the advice, you get the full story. You uh, are able to get a, a good clear picture of the story. Wow, okay. Let's get a yes or no for Capricorn. Capricorn, think of your question while I am shuffling and let's get a yes or no, please. Listen to your intuition. And you get a yes, Capricorn. There you have it. All right. Thank you for being with me today. Like, share, subscribe. And I will be back in a few days with some romance readings. So take care.